Good morning. Ponty Pete here. We're going for a little ride on the Bergman. It's an absolutely gorgeous morning. I've asked one of my mates out this morning and uh, he's not having any. He says it's too cold and miserable. Maybe uh, I'm thinking it's him that's cold and miserable. Right, well there we are. The jolly old Bergman. Yeah, I've had this baby three, three and a half years now, I guess, from no um, 650 school to base, Suzuki. Electric everything really, electric folding mirrors, heated seats, heated grips, uh, electric up and down screen. So it's got a lot of ties, on, massive storage under your seat and a dirty great big top box to complement it all so that's really good. So it's, if you wanted to go anywhere, take it easy and by the way, don't disrespect the bike, it'll shift. You know, it'll shift a lot quicker than a lot of motorbikes. But it's a great bike and uh, I've also got the Triumph Speedmaster 1200 for the summer but this this is a uh, master of all really I guess what a fantastic morning just over there you can't quite see it from here from this angle but there's Emily Moore mast famous Emily Moore mast and uh, that'll look good today right let's see if this baby will start up mission on Side stand up, engine on, bit of throttle, there we go, bit of throttle, just the uh, GoPro, I'm really out to try the GoPro out, uh, it's done my head in once the GoPro, I've had it two years and I've never used it often because it's useless absolutely bloody useless what happens is it uh, it sends lots of cl clips onto your uh, sim card and then when you transport it from your camera onto the PC you have about bloody 15 clips to sort out it's bloody absolute bloody nonsense but before you get to that there's lots of problems with the uh, with the selector on the on the camera itself the battery power is absolutely crap uh, if you get 20 minutes out of a out of a battery that's all i'm getting they didn't tell me that when i when i spent me 350 pound from america anyway there we go right let's see what we've got here ignition on engine on heater grips on right what haven't i got on okay let's go down here yeah. Plug in. <laughs> Plug in. It's a jacket on. Engine on. It's a jacket on. Grips on. Lots of mirrors out. Windscreen up, down. There. Feet on the ground. Sun's out. Three bars of petrol in it. It's saying it's. Uh, 10.43 am and it is chaps the uh, 4th of January 2022 and the skies are blue ok let's go been raining I think but uh, it's an absolutely stunning morning it's showing 4 bars of um, Four bars of sun. Let's see what we can do here. Right, I live in West Yorkshire, one mile from Pontefract, one mile from Castleford. Junction 32 is only a mile away. And that gentleman there walking up the hill I recognise as a very old school teacher of the village and I've not spoke to him in 40 years right yeah 
My aim today is to test out this GoPro because as I say it's been crap too much money for a complicated device really um, every time I try to download it on the computer I have problems I have problems trying to download it on YouTube the camera itself the batteries are absolute rubbish the long, long longevity it's like 20 minutes uh, well today for the first time I went and bought a um, a very small 5000 battery pack and I've plugged that in as well today so that when the battery goes down I should still have some backup power so that'll be interesting it's um, it's a bit windy And it's certainly cold-ish, a bit of a biting wind to be honest, but what a beautiful skyline. Well I don't know what all you other lads have done, whether you've actually put your bikes away for the winter, I don't know, but I have to say I haven't done that for the last um, four or five years because the the weather has totally changed. In Yorkshire, here where I live, West Yorkshire, up in Knaresborough, very famous beauty spot, there was an old lady in the uh, 15th century called Mother Shipton and she was a great prophet, clairvoyant and um, she did some fantastic things she uh, portrayed projected that uh, metal objects would fly in the sky metal objects would sink uh, and then they would make boats out of metal and they would float and in the 15th century you can understand she just got laughed at got laughed out of the village she was a deformed lady big nose hunchbacked big ears but uh, she became a very large prophet one of the best ones was that the uh, Lord Wolsey sent his henchmen up to shut her up because she'd been saying unpleasant things about uh, Cardinal Wolsey himself head of the church head of the uh, Catholic Church in Henry VIII's time and um, she sent Lord Darcy and Lord Norfolk and they told her to shut up and stop spreading gossip she turned round to them and said by the end of the day you two on your return will enter York and you'll both be impaled hung drawn and quartered on the uh, on the walls to which one of them ran out scared to death and indeed at the end of the day that did happen but the second great thing was that as she was talking to them uh, she said you can tell that Woolsey has come up here to a choir and take over the city of York uh, but you can tell him from me he will not enter the York and indeed they laughed that off and Cardinal Woolsey got there on his coach and as he was going over York Bridge he was taken ill and uh, there was a lot of trouble in, in the city and a lot of violence anyway they turned around and decided to go straight back to London and halfway back to London Cardinal Wolsey, the most powerful man in Britain, apart from Henry VIII, that he was at more or less nearly at his level, died of a massive heart attack. So Mother Shipton, she flattened the whole lot of them, and she lived in a cave. 
absolutely lived in a cale at the side of the River Nid in Knaresborough and she has some fantastic things. Well, one of her things was what I'm getting to is that she said that all the all the seasons would roll into one. Well, if you ask your mum and dad and your granddad what they used to have on in the lounge wall uh, in the 1930s, 40s, 50s, 60s even they had four pictures of the seasons in Britain uh, winter, spring, summer, fall and um, nobody has those anymore at all because they've had to be taken down and chucked in the dustbin because they don't mean a thing they, they'd be confusing for your little five year olds they'd say mummy and daddy what's all that about but because all the seasons have begun to mould into one we don't have winters when I was a kid we had six foot snow drifts we had icicles three feet long on the end of our windows we had coal fires blasting all the time we had to do to survive no central heating uh, all that's changed now it really has the weather we don't know from one day to the next what we're going to get as in the reason why I'm on this bike now 4th of January this wouldn't have been possible 40 years ago this these roads have been full of ice and snow at this time of year and here it is this could be summer you know a cool summer's day really so it's all interesting stuff what's going on